Welcome back to this weekly Q&A series here on my channel today. My name is Like Crazy Teddy, and today we've actually got a special episode simply just the fact that we've got a range of different questions. Not only that, but this is going to be slightly more interactive than, you know, my previous Q&A series or other Q&A videos that you've seen from other content creators on YouTube. Not only am I going to be answering you guys' questions, I'm actually going to be asking you guys a couple questions throughout this video for you to leave down below in the comment section. Nevertheless, guys, if you could do me a huge favor and support this Q&A series by leaving a like on this video. If you're a subscriber of mine, please do that and only take a couple seconds out of your day. But with that said, let's actually jump right into the first question. And Mr. N47 uh, actually asked PlayStation or Xbox. And once again, if you guys get, are going to be asking me questions as this guy did over on Twitter or down below in the comment section, be t be sure to use the hashtag AskSeddy as always to increase your chances of me finding it. But moving back to the question, PlayStation or Xbox, and I'm going to put it plain and simple. Honestly, a console war isn't really something for me. I prefer the Xbox 360 over the PlayStation 3. But on the other hand, I prefer the PlayStation 4 over the Xbox One. So it is kind of balanced on this side. So I prefer the 360 for current gen and the PS4 for next gen. And honestly, I'm going to be getting Grand Theft Auto 5 and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Far Cry 4 and all these cool games on every single console as well as a PC, which, you know, is awesome. It means I can stream and play with you guys on all these different platforms, which is absolutely amazing. So the next question actually comes all the way from Egypt. I believe this guy's name is Rashidi and he says, Salam, greetings from Egypt. But do you have any plans for the future? Not to be nosy, but thanks. Sorry about that. But um, honestly, the next big hurdle for my YouTube channel is going to be, of course, the next DLC. But a major one is going to be the next generation console release of Grand Theft Auto V. If you guys didn't uh, watch my previous q and I actually mentioned that last time I actually got into Grand Theft Auto V, I had around about 7,500 subscribers. Whereas this time, the re-release of Grand Theft Auto V with the next gen, which is a year later, I have around about 360 or maybe even 380,000 or 400,000 subscribers when next gen is going to be released. So honestly right now I'm focusing on bringing you guys the best and the most top-notch content all the way until next gen and from there I'm going to be pumping out videos left right and center giving you guys anything and everything you really need to know ATT City asks Ted will you be continuing the series with Dom and Declan that you said that you are going to be doing don't mind the spelling there it's not really something that bothers me but um there's a couple of series that I said I was going to be doing with Dom and Declan. There was the Heist movie. And honestly, we're actually, once again, the next big step for us is Next Gen. And right now, we're just trying to pump out as much great content as we can to please you guys. So, right now, we've put a couple series on the standstill. And we've started a couple of others like the Custom Jobs, Funny Moments, and all of that sort of crazy shit. So, eventually, we will get all these series done and out the way and make as much episodes and movies and crazy shit like that as we can. But primarily right now we're actually sticking on the main focus of our channels which is to entertain you guys, give you guys what you want like leaked DLC information, give you guys information on DLC updates before we come, a couple funny moments glitches and all of that sort of main shit which is priority for our channel and what you guys normally you know leave likes on videos more for and just enjoy watching in general. Hope that answered your question. It was kind of complicated, but nevertheless, let's actually move on to the next one, which was given by Leo Fallon. And he says, what part of the USA are you from? And unfortunately, I'd like to say I'm not actually from the USA. Hopefully, I'm going to be visiting there sometime in my life. That would be awesome. But you can probably tell by my title, or most of you, some of you probably think I'm from the East Coast. I actually had a couple of questions. They were like, where are you from in the East Coast, US? And I was like, okay then. But I'm actually from Birmingham, United Kingdom, which is, you know, United Kingdom, England, which is a pretty cool country. But honestly, it's not, you know, somewhere where I want to live for the rest of my life. But that's, you know, a whole new topic for another video. Jordan Borisov, I believe that might be a Russian name or some Yugoslavian or something along them lines asks and I hope I haven't messed up that name. Are you going to be retiring from GTA 5 anytime soon? And GTA 5 isn't something that I want to retire from until the game itself retires from me. What I mean is that you guys, you know, lose your eye for any Grand Theft Auto 5 information or you stop playing Grand Theft Auto 5 or GTA isn't something that really interests you anymore. Right now, once again, the massive hurdle which I've mentioned on multiple occasions is, of course, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 Next Gen is the main priority. So I'm going to be doing GTA for a little while now. 
Uh, we're actually moving to Leo Fallon's question just for a second here. And I, he actually once again asked me what part of the USA I'm from. And I answered that I'm from the UK. I actually want to ask you guys down below in the comment section, where are you from? You know, what country and what city you are from? Because of course you guys are from around the world. I'm just one guy sitting in his bedroom in the UK making a commentary. So it'd be awesome if you guys, if you were watching right now, let me know down below in the comment section where you're from. And if someone's already wrote the same city and country, then simply, simply reply to them and be sure to thumbs up their comment of course and, you know we got people from Netherlands New Zealand Australia Zimbabwe we got people from India and all these crazy places around the world Egypt once again uh, but yeah leave a comment down below the next question actually comes from Holly otherwise known as modified Batgirl and she says when are you planning to do a face reveal honestly this question uh, for me right now I can do a face reveal at any time but I prefer to set a certain time which of course I mentioned in my previous videos would most likely be at 500,000 subscribers you know we're pretty close to that we are around about 360,000 so, so it should be like six months or so but honestly once a face reveal does happen it's gonna be awesome it means that I can integrate my face into different funny moments episodes I can do vlogs and all that sort of crazy shit and you guys get to know me as a person more and we can just have an overall great time so hopefully I'm gonna be doing yeah 500k no promises there and that is definitely a question a great question that I get asked every single day the next one is from freakantastic and he says why are you so awesome hashtag team Teddy ha 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 and of course you know we're team Teddy we as people as a group are awesome I'm awesome and as Dummy's Life says to his subscribers and I'm saying to you guys right now you guys are awesome as well because honestly every single person took a couple seconds out of their day to actually click that subscribe button or has ever liked my video has done me a huge favor and I just want to thank all you awesome people out there which is you've probably heard me you know start a couple of videos off with I'll be like hey guys what is going on all you awesome people out there so yeah I just want to thank everyone all you awesome people you definitely make my day with all these likes comments and favorites and all this crazy shit and all this support you give me uh, the next person Karam asks what convinced you to make a YouTube channel uh, honestly I used to love playing Call of Duty the game Call of Duty and I you know managed to find out about the Machinima channel then I found out about other youtubers such as Woody's Gamertag there's T Martin and then of course the major one which is Syndicate and X Jaws and from there I was just watching their videos and ultimately I wanted to make friends with people such as them I wanted to be able to play games and share games with people such as them because I thought that I had the exact same skill set or skill might uh, say same mindset as them sorry and I thought that you know alongside them it'd be great to make videos with them not only that but you know to have a great time while playing and just ultimately to meet new people and have a great time mini vagard asks what why is your profile picture a monkey but your name is i crazy teddy and if you guys haven't already followed me on twitter i definitely recommend doing so but if you haven't already noticed my twitter profile or little avi picture is actually a monkey and honestly i'm not really sure i just found it funny and that was actually made by one of my awesome graphic designers you guys are going to be seeing some cool t-shirts soon with freaking monkey shooting rpgs we got the game of thrones teddy bear we got a teddy bear with a jason mask holding a lightsaber golf clubs crowbars and all of this crazy shit that i got for you guys planned which of course i'll talk about and get over in a future video but honestly it was just the spur of the moment and that was the image that i chose freakantastic once again asked this guy got to ask two questions what is the main reason that people want high so bad well, if you guys haven't already, don't already know, the GTA Online trailer, one of the last focuses, which, you know, obviously, Call of Duty, if you guys haven't already watched the co-op trailer, people were actually, you know, excited for that, unfortunately. Uh, you know, Sledgehammer Games didn't deliver today, but that's besides the point. Heists was probably one of the main parts that people bought GTA Online. It was advertised in the GTA Online trailer, is advertised in newspapers and all this crazy shit. Just the fact that you can jump in with, like, like six or seven more people jump in a heist make your money you know have a great time level up in GTA online and just increase your online playing time and your experience and you know just have great fun so heist was something that was introduced or rather you know advertised alongside Grand Theft Auto online and it's been a year and we still haven't got it so we're definitely waiting for that people want it other people in my comment section are like Teddy you should just give up heist are never coming but at the end of the day I'm a Grand Theft Auto 5 YouTuber if I'm not going to be the one sticking around waiting for heist then who the hell is 
The final question come from, comes from Josh Mack and he says, How much do you like making gaming videos? How much do you like gaming and doing YouTube? Honestly, doing YouTube is pretty awesome. The fact that I can play games, I can do, you know, series like this Q&As where you guys sit down. You're probably playing GTA while listening to this or doing something crazy. Maybe even watching the gameplay in the background, which probably isn't something spectacular, but might just keep you entertained. And honestly, just to think that hundreds of thousands of people out there or thousands or tens of thousands of people are going to watch this video really does make my day and honestly it's an awesome little hobby to have and especially the fact that this hobby can almost be you know seen as a business that makes you money which you know takes it to the next level and I'm pretty sure that you guys would agree. Apart from that if you guys did enjoy this little Q&A be sure to let me know by leaving a like rating on this video. Once again, leave a comment down below on where you're from within the world, what country and what city. And also, if you guys do have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. For anyone, all you awesome people who are still watching this video, I just want to thank you for sticking around till the end. Just a quick little announcement. I will be doing monthly giveaways here on my YouTube channel every single time a DLC is released. So if you guys are interested in winning prizes such as Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus, which of course, you know, with the PS4 you need to play online, shark cards for GTA, and all this sort of cool stuff, then definitely be sure to subscribe. Apart from that, my name is Crazy Teddy. My rice are ready right now. And I'm going to go eat them. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.